I'm gonna light this light bulb in one of your teacher's mouths. So someone volunteer one of your teachers, and I'm gonna run 50,000 volts through them. Miss <laughs> Parker, step on up. I'm an assistant principal. Oh, That's okay. Oh, All right, now, hold tightly. Hold tightly. Now can we dim the lights again? This might feel a little weird. <laughs> you didn't think that would happen today. Today we are hosting Jeff Con 2022. Jeff Con 2022 is a tech event. We have almost 200 students here. We also have a lot of our IT staff, our ERD staff helping out with uh, some of the sessions. Are we really getting rid of something or bringing something new in because something is truly broken? Sometimes if you're using like artificial intelligence, you will gather your data through a sensor or like a LiDAR. With quantum computing, are you scared of that? Cryptography and heavy communications has been a cat and mouse game for centuries now. What operating system is it running? It's just running Windows 10. But I'm okay. If you're interested in repairing Chromebooks, please see me. <laughs> we were able to have our superintendent here today to welcome it's us, as well as uh, two of our board members. Technology, like art, is a soaring exercise of the human imagination. And I really do believe that what we have been able to accomplish as humans with technology is an artistic expression of how we live in the world. And I'm just so thrilled that you're interested in technology. And I really do believe that your generation is going to soar when it comes to advancements in technology. It was wonderful to have our keynote speaker here today, Dr. Ariel Paul from CU Boulder. One of the things I was asked was, what would you tell yourself when you were your age, you guys in the audience, when you are going into tech? So. I will try to tell you a few of those things that I wish I had known. It was great to see uh, the interaction that so uh, the students had with our keynote speaker. Oh, if anyone has any questions. Yeah. We were talking about being an interplanetary species earlier. Yeah. Um, when do you really think that would start happening? Uh, could you go over some other reasons why you switched to HTML5? The technology like growing really fast around you, like how do you keep up with it? What struggles did you encounter when you developed vet simulators? <laughs> One quote that really stands out to you and that you like woke up to. Insight comes from having done the problem before. Our second speaker, Chris from Red Canary, resonated with maybe not always having a linear path, but following uh, kind of your curiosity and interest. And it's just not always a straight line from point A to B, and that it's okay. Uh, so one thing I would definitely encourage you when you think about your careers, sometimes it might feel like you aren't working on a very big problem, but that might be because you're acquiring skills, and you're learning a pattern, and you're learning a way to do something that you're going to identify as something really, really big. My interest in IT started uh, when I was in high school, so I, I hope the interest in technology is already sparked in, in the students that are here, and hopefully we've got some students that are sparking even more interest in technology today by what they're learning.